these are bad. What is up y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day and today's video is going to be special. This is one of my all-time favorite golf courses to ever play. I was here like three or four years ago and played it and this course is unbelievably long and difficult but pure as pure can be. We're at the Die Course, the Pete Die Course here at French Lick, Indiana at the French Lick Resort. This place is awesome. This course is 8100 yards from the tips. And I didn't come here to lay up, so we're gonna be playing the tips. I'm really looking forward to this, and this is going to be a test. If we shoot anywhere around par, I'm gonna be super happy. Even a few over, there's gonna be part one at the die course. So the teeth are already here on number one. Par four, bends a little to the left, 519 yards, and I've got Roadrunner, a caddy with me today, and he just said that it's like 300 yards just to get to the fairway, roughly, guesstimation. So we gotta hit it well, and it's cool this morning. So we're gonna see it high, let it fly. So this is our vantage point from the tee. You can see the hole marker right there. That's gonna be our target aiming point. Even though it does look like that's the fairway over there, we've gotta take it kinda of over in here because on that line, that's probably like 400 yards, maybe more. Alrighty, well, we did find our ball in the rough, and this hole is an absolute beast. I'm gonna go with a five iron here. It may jump a little bit, it is cool, and it's probably playing like 220, Roadrunner said. So I'm thinking might jump a little bit out of this rough. So he also said you'd rather be short than long. So five iron, that's the play. Tough to see from here, it was right at it. It might be a little short, but hopefully it's up there putting. It's on just right at the pin. All righty, so there's the pitch mark, fixed that, and we've got about 25 feet here. Really feels like almost like an eagle putt at <laughs> 519 yards. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a true test. This place is so pure. We got the first tee time out here, so we're gonna get out Hopefully let's take this low. I'd love to shoot a decent number today. We'll see, whole lot of golf left though. That is uh, not what you want to see on the first hole. Three putt. We're going to get the speed down though. That's in the pass. We're one over through one. Let's forget about that. No more three putts today though. No more. We'll get the pace down. We're on a number two, par four, 413 yards. And y'all, these bunkers out here are the coolest bunkers I've ever seen. They're called volcano bunkers. Let me show you. See those volcano bunkers right there? Those things are sweet. I mean, Cool to look at, hopefully we don't get in them. This is our vantage point here, pretty straight away. Probably gonna be aiming maybe at that far left volcano bunker there. Unfortunately, did end up in the rough here, kind of hit through the fairway. Got 120 yards to carry that front bunker, 130 all the way back to the hole right there. This might jump a little bit, kind of assessing the lie. I'm gonna go, I'm like right in between clubs here. It's asking a whole lot out of the sand wedge. 
Mm. I'm just gonna smooth the gap wedge. Thank you. All right, we kept it right and uh, maybe just like a little short of the flag, but good shape. All right, we're kind of putting up the hill. It does look like it's gonna have pretty good break from right to left. The last time this putter got hot was Elkhorn Ridge in South Dakota. That was too long ago. So we need a round that this thing gets hot. Hopefully it's this round. Boy, I'm hitting these putts right where Roadrunner's telling me to, but I'm hammering them. There you go. All right, yeah. that was a little better comeback right there. Par here on two. These greens are rolling so good. I mean, the ball doesn't even bobble. It's almost like gliding across the top of the grass. One over through two. Whole lot of golf left. We've got a par five here, 641. Here's what we're looking at. Do you see that green scoreboard there in the center of the frame above that bunker? I think our target line is gonna be kind of the right corner there. The green does sit off back in there. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. Beautiful. That one should play well. That might be our first fairway today. I just have to stop and say, how pure is this tee box right here? Yes, sir. Good shape here. You can see where my ball rolled down to the edge of the drain, took a drop right here. Roadrunner is getting the yardage. This is what we're looking at. It is not going to be reachable. It's probably just over 300. 290 to cover and then uh, like three over 300. Okay, by the way, it's in the fog up there, but the mansion sits atop the hill. That place is awesome. I'm going to be hitting a five iron laying up like right there, kind of just right of that cart path you see off in the distance. I know that was just a layup right there, but that was the best swing of the day right there. I absolutely love hitting irons off these fairways because when you hit it good, you get that good tight compression, which we did there. This is like carpet. And I don't know, it just has an awesome feel. We are in great shape right here. It's like 115 to cover and I'm getting 127 holes. Okay, 127. A little further than I was thinking. Like downwind. Down breeze, probably playing 121. All right, I'm going sandwich here. We have 127 to the flag, but Roadrunner said that everything in the front kind of does kick forward. So hopefully we can hit this about 121, 122. So, I just hit that about 132 or three right there. That was uh, a very long sand wedge. All right, so we've hit every green so far. That's a very good thing, especially out here. We've got kind of a lengthier putt here, maybe 30 feet, putting back down the hill. All in all, not a bad two putt right there. That thing had a lot of break in it. All right, one over through three holes. We have a really solid par three. Here at French Lick, they do not mess around with the par threes out here on the Ross or the die course. 232 to the pin, 220 to cover the front edge in line with the pin. I think I've got to hit five iron here. We are hitting this five iron well today. That was right at the flag. 
So my eyes were deceiving me a little bit there, and I guess I saw it bounce, but maybe it kicked straight up. Probably just needed just a little bit further. We just stayed out of this bunker. We're down there. This rough is juicy. That is an up and down right there. You love to see it. Gaining a little confidence with the putter, let's go. You love to see those up and downs right there. That was huge, definitely a momentum booster. We're on to number five, par four, 391. There's actually a par four under 400 yards. I, yeah, so thankful about that. Pretty much aiming straight down the middle. You can see the green sit off back to the right. Definitely a right miss is more favorable than a left miss. So just right of the fairway, kind of landed up there, trundled down to here. Yes, we got trundled in today on the video. 90 yards to carry the front edge, 105-ish to the flag. Uphill, I'm probably gonna go lob wedge here. Let's knock this close and get our first bird. Down there just short like i said not a good wedge shot there kind of got really steep on that and the ball kind of rode up the face and it's playing uphill wasn't ever going to get there we need to play this out to the right because it is going to break right to left on camera it'll be left to right Nice. That's two monster up and downs back to back. Let's go. Two monster back to back up and downs. Remain at one over on to number six. And this course does not let up. 513 yard par four. Plays pretty straight. The, the fog, you're not gonna be able to see the green from here from the tee box because of the fog, but it's kind of cool out here playing in this fog. I'm, I'm loving the vibe. That was pulled a little bit right there. Um, we're gonna have to find it, hit it again. Like I said, that wasn't our best swing. Pulled it, but normally when you pull it, you hammer it. So we only have 161 left to the flag. Might jump. Also, this ball is well above my feet. So I'm gonna need to choke down on the club and also aim well right, because that ball is probably gonna be drawn. All right, I'm going with the nine iron here. Gonna be aiming well right. Let's hit it close. It's up there. We'll have to see. Hopefully uh, it was on a good number. Y'all know that we get the wildlife showing up here on the channel. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a foursome of spectators here on the uh, sixth green. Unfortunately, it came up just short. Still a good swing. We're probably 30, 35 feet here. Probably should have chipped that. Probably should have chipped that. That was a little slow through the dew and just kind of ripped left. You hate to see that. Oh, I thought that was like straight in right there. That was a dirty little lip right there. Probably in hindsight should have chipped that, but still just had like a four footer and thought I made it. However, didn't two over through six holes, we're on number seven, par five. From all the way back here, it is 611. These holes do not let up. It plays pretty straight here. Uh, bends a little to the left, but pretty much in driver all day long out here. Here is what we're looking at right there. You can see those two bunkers through the fog. We're gonna be kind of aiming 
over in that direction and the green does sit off back in there. I think that one deserved a thumbs up right there. I'm pretty sure that one's really good. Didn't get much roll there. What a nice, would have been nice to get a little roll. We've got 282 uh, playing up to almost 290. So can't really reach it. I'm gonna hit hybrid though and get up there close to hopefully give us a little short pitch shot like up onto the green from there. So we're gonna go hybrid, hit that drive well. We're gonna have to go go look for that one. So it wouldn't be around if I uh, didn't have to go tromping through the weeds, at least at some point. <laughs> and uh, cannot believe it, Roadrunner found it out here in the middle. We're gonna be able to give it a whack. 77 hole. So behind this green, there's a volcano bunker. You can see it right there. Air hitting it towards that volcano because if it comes out hot, hopefully that'll be a little bit of a backstop for us. Be the bat. Be good, sweetheart. Yeah, great shot. Yeah. We're on the back edge right there. We will take that all day long. This stuff is kind of thick, but we got through it. We've got a putt. So you wouldn't think this whacking out of the weeds would be your closest birdie look today, <laughs> but it is. We've got just under 20 feet, probably like 15, 18 feet, something like that, putting down the hill. But real quick, before we hit this putt, I've got to show you this volcano bunker up top here. It's like the smallest little bunker. And yes, there is a bunker up here. Just wanted to show you, if you ever hit up here, that's what you're looking at. in the heart oh that is a par here on seven we remain at two over par through seven holes would love to finish with a birdie here on this nine get a little momentum going into the back nine all in all you know two over on this course i don't know i i missed a couple five footers they could have dropped and we could have been even par which would have been a phenomenal score on this course down the hill par three 172 i've got an eight iron little puff of breeze into i bumped up a box because it's really foggy and wanted to get slightly closer to the green so hopefully you could see it the other box is just right back there so i'm not playing it from much further forward but with the fog i wanted to get a little closer so you could hopefully see the green here so i'm gonna go with an eight iron hit it smooth let's knock it close Found the putting surface right there. That is what we were looking for. Pin high, probably about 30 feet, 35 feet. Well, if we can make five footers today, we might have a decent round going. I'm, uh, yeah, just, yeah, just, not going in the hole. That's all right. Keep putting. Keep hitting them on your lines you're wanting, and uh, they will fall. I am three over par now currently. We have one hole remaining in part one in the front nine of the absolute beast of the die course. I want to say thank you so much to the French Lick Resort for having me out. This place is immaculate. This course is absolutely pristine. One of my all-time favorite courses. The layout's phenomenal. Number nine, par four, 532 yards. We're gonna be aiming at that bunker you see just over the cart path right there. The fairway does kind of bend a little to the right with the green setting off back in there. And it's pretty much driver. Every single non-par three, but if I remember correctly, when I played here last time, we even had to hit a driver on a par three on the back nine. Yeah, that looks 
still good. You like the middle? We got a little backspin right there. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like 197. 197 flag right there in the middle of the frame. So we were discussing here what we we're gonna hit. I think I'm gonna go with a five iron because there's like a little breeze into and we're on a slight upslope right here. So it's gonna add a little loft, kind of three quarter. Let's knock this close. Let's end with a bird. That's what we're looking for. Five iron is definitely the MVP of the day so far. We will take that all day long. I've never hit so many five irons into par four greens after hitting good tee balls. There is where we landed and I'm gonna have Roadrunner explain to you how to properly fix a divot. So if you can, you just reach in and pull up the flap like that. And then just using your hand, your thumb, you can just push it right back down and then just pinch this back together like that no twisting no prying that is awesome that and just heal up beautiful there that is absolutely perfect thank yeah. you sir all righty Thanks so much to Roadrunner for helping me out. He was giving me spot on yardages all day long, giving me good reads. I just didn't get the ball in the hole on the greens. So that is 100% on me. Need to work on the five footers. That is very apparent for sure, but had so much fun. Finish a three over. We're heading into the back nine now. Stay tuned for that part two. As for me, French Lick Resort, the P-Dye course. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.